All right. Well, medlars and ladies, Jacob Arda speaking, and welcome back to my street five years later. It is currently 3.51, and since about 10-ish, 11-ish, I have been attempting to make this video in some way or another. Um, Aiden has been patiently waiting by as I struggle through Streamlabs, bits of Restream, and then trying to do a recording of this, which also got, we got all the way through it, and it actually just completely failed. So now I'm doing a static riddle thing with my face cam all the way in the bottom corner. And if I don't sound all that enthusiastic, it's because I really have not that much enthusiasm left to give. Mm. So yeah. Um, but yeah, we're going to review Aaron is Jealous. And we're going to pretend like we haven't seen it. And Aiden is, uh, currently has no sound right now, so he's, he's in the chat. Uh, as you, you can see that in the bottom right corner, actually. So yeah, he'll be giving bits of feedback, most likely. I don't know. Maybe we should have like a signal just like look, I look down and I see like a like a word so I know to pause or something. Not the word pause, that's like five letters. Something like, I don't know. Um... Ah, okay, yeah, you know what, that works. Yes, fine. Just the letter A and I will know to pause. Perfect. All right, without further distraction, for the love of God, on with the reaction. Straight from YouTube to your heart, these Afmel plushies are now available on teespring.com. Be sure to check Cat. out the description the down below player. to bring home one of these perfect plushies. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoy the show. I don't want to skip forward and watch together. That's the thing. <laughs> Meow indeed. Oh, well, you seem perfectly fine. Maybe it was just a small case of heat exhaustion. <laughs> Maybe? It's not that hard. Did you make a Hello so Nurse joke? Odd, <laughs> Hello Nurse! Rest before your next class. Okay, sweetie? Yes, ma'am. Good. Get some rest. I'll wake you when the bell rings. Uh, I can't believe I actually fainted in front of Kai. Oh, I wonder how I got here. Afmau? Afmau! If you can hear me, I'm going to carry you to the nurse. Nah, that's not an Afmau fantasy oh, right there. Kai. The Afmau true fantasy would be something like, Afmau, let me carry you. <laughs> it's okay, Afmau-chan. I have you in my arms now. Something along those lines. Just make it the cheesiest dating sim ever, like it already is to begin with. Just because he's smart, sensitive, hot, and kind. Huh? Hey, well, you did a, a you, you did collapse some heat exhaustion. The hotness came from somewhere. That was that was like a rephrased version of Aiden's joke from the last time we tried this. Uh, I can't and yes, Aiden, he. Last episode, you missed this, but last episode he really stepped up in terms of his kindness and, and seemingly very genuine nature. His naivete does not help him in the future, but for that particular episode, suddenly where it's where um where the high school love comes into it, or was it Afmas Crush on Kai? I can't remember which one it was. Afmas Crush on Kai, I think it was. We actually really kind of see this. It's more justified. It's an actual justified ship, even though it's not even though we know it's not gonna actually go anywhere. It's interesting. For me, Kai had a decline before he ended up um, ended up showing your opinion, and that decline has not happened yet. I don't have a crush on him. I haven't had a crush on someone since. Oh, and also their banter is incredible. Honestly, on the same level as Afmar and Aaron. FC. Can I? Yes. Oh well, I haven't had a crush since Aaron. A mere six months ago, give or take. It's been such a long time. I can't possibly have another one. Oh, don't think about him, Ath. We said we were going to wait. She moves fast like Buffy from Angel. Yes, <laughs> yes, indeed. Uh, I've, I, I know that you're referring to like that one, that one boy that's you know, who's that within college. Um, yeah, I, I see what you mean there. She needed comfort more than anything. College and I would just be a distraction. Hey, Af, uh, how's school going? And speaking of distractions... <gasps> Seriously? Of old times to text me! Uh... Hey, 
Hey, Aaron. What happened to not texting during school? <laughs> Since when have you listened to me about texting? Hmm? <laughs> right, right. So, what's up? Not much. I just wanted to text you to see how things were going. Honestly, I wasn't expecting you to reply so fast. I just miss talking with you. That's right. It's been a while since we've talked. Again, such a long Sorry. time since your crush. I've just been so busy with stuff. Especially being Alpha. Wait, you decided to take on the role of Alpha? I like the texting scenes this season. Oh yeah, you mean as far as... um. Actually, there's another reason that these are good. Because even though they do have like a modern style of, like, of, of um, the text itself and the speech bubble, it's not really the end of the world, to be honest. And um, we also do we also get the, um, the obvious modern technology being obscured. And that's a good thing. <laughs> the yeah. we can pretend that we're in 2003 or 4, the better. I have. Uh, have you picked a guy to be Alpha? Again, you know, I said this before, but I'll say it again. Priorities! You know, not, oh, how is the position of leadership that I bestowed on you, an inexperienced human freshman, treating you? Um, no, just I have you picked a guy. See, here's the thing, I th this thing, you know, Kai has, has his naive moments later, but Aaron gets a pass on him just being utterly terrible and not realizing that how his actions affect Aphmau. Much like Kai himself, again, they're not actually that different from each other, at least at this point in the series. No, not yet. And yet, Aaron's but best idea, exactly. Times about it. I'm just waiting on the right guy, I guess. One who seems like a good leader. <laughs> that's a good call. And that's also way too fast for you to have texted all of that. Remember, you don't have to date him. <laughs> I know that. That's like the third time he's told me. Hmm. Hmm, is that wheelchair in the background foreshadowing for a certain finale? I'm kidding. <laughs> what if I want to? Oh yeah, that right there we established, look at this part, minute, minute three in a 17 minute video. Um, and the title is called, uh, the title is Aaron is Jealous. <laughs> the, <laughs> the trauma, yes. As long as he's a good guy. <laughs> Just kidding. Huh? Boring. Talk to you later, Aaron. See ya. Oh, good. You're awake. The bell just rang. And yeah, as Aiden said, that is only two minutes. Uh, <laughs> he's, he's like, he's like, don't wait. I'll come in. I'll come and wake you when the bell rings. You know, give it um. Yeah, like two and a half minutes. Yeah, we'll give or take. About right. If you're feeling better, you should get heading to class. I'm feeling much better. Thank you. Perfect. Here, take a lollipop. Ah! Just don't <laughs> let your teachers see you with that. <laughs> I won't. Thank you so much, Miss... Judy. <laughs> Hopefully you won't need to come to me for any health issues. But... Feel free to stop by any time if you need help with anything. Thank you so much, Miss Judy. See you around. See you. Okay, let's see. The nurse in Phoenix Drop Days must have got fired. Yeah, yeah. Like we said before, either that or she just quit to get away from Coach Roy, not knowing that Coach Roy himself was eventually probably going to get fired due to his HR violations of her. Yeah, if you haven't seen Phoenix Drop Days, it's a very weird dynamic that they have. I personally feel like we should have brought back Nurse Judy, you know? All the new teachers are great, but some of the old ones need their screen time too, you know? Next class I have is D R M. What's that? Did they give me drum class? Ugh! What is it with the school and assigning me weird classes? Ugh. The fact that she thinks that drum class is normal. <laughs> and yes, Aiden, it's obviously drama. 
I think anyone other than Aphmau would know that. Again, she goes back and forth from being smart, depending on... Psst. Hey, kid. Huh? Me? Yeah, you. Come over here. And yes, werewolf class is a thing. That's true, but that makes sense within the universe. A class dedicated to one musical instrument when they have an entire music room for it, and presumably also music class, makes does not make sense. Here. Oh, over where? Here. Behind the bush? Huh? Um, ah yes, the sound effects. Oh yeah, Aiden pointed out last time that the bag model looks gross, as in the one that the kid is wearing. If there's another shot of it, I will, I'll show you what he means. Why are you guys in that bush? Silence! Do you understand who you're speaking to? A talking Uh, book? nope, because we can't see you. Oh, there's, there's the bag. I think Aiden said that it looks like they puked inside of it. Yeah. Bush, apparently. Well, it has brown stains. Yeah, it's more like orange stains. No! You're talking to the leader of the Shadow Knights. Very saturated stains. Show some respect. Okay, what do you want from me? <laughs> well, I'm glad you asked. We're here to invite you to join the Shadow Knights. What? It's an hmm? honor. We know you. <laughs> you guys are hilarious. First off, you realized you guys bullied me in my freshman year, right? That's how we work. To be fair, they probably don't remember him. Also, his hair is ugly and untextured. And also, as I mentioned before, he has purple eyes, which, according to Agent R, are an incredible rarity in this world, which means that he must be related to Sasha and or Toby. We want to again, it doesn't happen. It's like Vlad and Travis. They must both have green eyes for the same reason. You up to become something greater by tearing you down. Yeah, no thanks. <laughs> Plus, the only reason you guys were scary to me was because of Gene. <sighs> now that guy was scary. <laughs> we're just as bad as... <laughs> no way. You guys are hiding in a bush to ask me to join you. <laughs> no thanks, but I'll pass. See ya. See, I really think that the issue with the Shadow Knights right now, well, in-universe, the issue with that with the, they're having right now is that it's not the fact that Gene is gone, but the fact that Xenix is an idiot. That's why that's why they're not getting anywhere. What the Don't worry, Xenix. We'll find someone new. What happened to us? Why did everything go downhill when Jean left? Well, Jean was scary. I'm scary! Yeah, you can be, but I don't know. We've become weak. We need to gather the baddest kits and make a name for us to bring our badness level to a maximum. Or just get a talking cat and it can become Team Rocket. What? It's when you say things like that that don't make us threatening anymore. Yeah, we're gonna get together the gnarliest kids in the whole school and make the raddest gang of all time. It'll be totally tubular. And then they'll respect the name of the Shadow Knights. We'll be extreme cool. Anyway. Ugh, well then why don't you lead the Shadow Knights? Uh, no thanks. I could be scary, but I'm also lazy. Well, then what are we supposed to do? To be fair, that I, I didn't mention this last time. It's cons that's consistent with Sasha, from what we heard before. Honestly, maybe that's what she was trying to mask with when her conversation with Aphmau. I know I talk about that conversation a lot.